You know, since we're talking about the cops, uh, I've got a, a kind of a follow-up story here on a, something we covered thanks to a couple of our listeners who called in about this. And it was probably a year ago. It was about a year ago, actually, when a couple of listeners of Free Talk Live were arrested in California for holding a, a sign uh, on the interstate there. It was November 29th, according to their press release here. Uh, Wheatland residents Benjamin and Russell Bartholomew will finally have their day in court to respond to charges stemming from their tax protest last spring. Excuse me, last, got it wrong. It was earlier this year. Uh, on April 28th, the brothers were arrested by Yuba County Sheriff's deputies and charged with wearing masks. The brothers were wearing Guy Fox masks while standing near a sign that read, Taxes Equal Theft. They had taken the sign and basically, it was a huge sign, it, uh, they'd strapped it to an overpass mm-hmm. and uh, were, I guess, standing there waving it uh, at folks uh, driving by. It didn't take long, if I'm recalling correctly, for the police to show up and then show up in force. So one car arrived and then more arrived uh, thereafter. And, the, the, of course, the claim is that it's distracting. We can't be having this signage up over the uh, the highway here. Sure, those billboards are fine, but uh, you, your taxes equals theft sign. That's distracting. Right. And you have masks on, and it's not Halloween. And in California, we don't allow that sort of thing. Right. I think the wording they used was uh, concealing. They were trying to conceal their identities. Even though in the video footage that uh, these folks have, and I'll see if I can pull up what they I think it's Good Men Do Something, I believe is their YouTube channel or their Facebook book Mm -hmm. Uh, you can link to their video there but uh, benjamin and russell bartholomew are their names if you want to find it but they've they caught all this on video uh and the police were accusing them of concealing their identities so they lifted their masks and said we're not concealing anything we're just wearing these masks for the theatrical effect yeah here we are you know yeah so we're not concealing anything but that didn't stop them from uh, you know being arrested and charged with a bunch of nonsense it never does here's the latest on the case here this is from their uh, their press release uh, to publicize their case the masks uh, popularized in the movie V for Vendetta are internationally recognized symbols of protest. The district attorney dropped the mask-wearing charge, but the brothers are still being charged with violating Penal Code Section 602F. That is, illegally posting a sign and Penal Code Section 148A1, obstructing a police officer while attempting to discharge his or her official duties. Which sounds awfully familiar to me because I've been charged with obstructing government administration here in New Hampshire, which was a misdemeanor, and I faced up to a year in jail for doing that. Yeah. And in this case, the brothers are each facing a possible two thousand dollar fine and up to two years in jail. Wow, that's amazing. Wow. Um, yeah, the website where you can see the video, or I'm sorry, the YouTube channel is Good Men Do Something, like you said. All run together as one word: yeah. youtube.com slash Good Men Do Something. Right, exactly, and it's like a 11 minute video, but it's really good. It has 5,000 views, so I'm glad they're getting publicity, and I'm glad they have this press release out. Yeah, it's a smart move. I mean, if you want people to show up at your trial, you have to be the one who promotes it. Yep. You've got to be the one to send out information. If you want the press to show up, you've got to ask them to, to come. If you want activists to show up, you've got to spread the word. Uh, and so good on them. There's more here, though, from them. Uh, the brothers, one of them said, Bar- uh, Benjamin said, we're being punished for exercising our First Amendment rights to protest government tax policy. They're co-founders of Good Men Do Something and, they mentioned in their press release, members of the Free State Project. The police said it was illegal for us to wear masks and asked to see our faces, and we complied. We weren't arrested until one of the officers argued that taxes are not theft. They didn't really care about the masks. They dropped that charge, but they didn't like our message. Yeah, what if the banner said, uh, you know, I love ho- cops or something? Great question. That, that would be an interesting thing just to find out, see how long you could stand on the side of the road with an I love cops uh, sign in yeah. you know, the exact same circumstances. Call the, call the cops on yourself, uh, you know, oh, yeah. there are some people out there with a sign. It's very disturbing. It could be dangerous. Good you know, point. They, and they have masks. Yeah, because if no one files a complaint in some places, then the cops won't do anything. But I don't believe that there was a complaint filed in this case. It was too fast. They were swooped down upon uh, too quickly by the police for there to have been anyone who have com- uh, complained. The cops saw it, and they, they responded on their own volition. Sure. The DA offered a plea bargain, of course, but the brothers refused the offer. Russell said the DA also offered to drop the whole case if we would just plead guilty to littering, like admitting that we dropped a paper clip or something. But we didn't litter. They wanted us to plead guilty to something we didn't do. And that just doesn't seem right. Wow. 
Attorney Paul Nicholas Boylan, who agreed to represent the brother, said, I'm amazed this is happening at all. Attorney Boylan is also a professor of law and specializes in free speech issues. I can't say I'm amazed. I'm not amazed. I mean, or, or I, rather, I can't say I'm amazed because this stuff happens all the time. Sure. It's far too common to be surprised by. He says it simply makes no sense if an American citizen can be punished with a fine and face jail time for expressing their displeasure with official tax policy, then freedom of speech is meaningless and every member of the Tea Party should be in jail. If the district attorney plans on arguing that the California Penal Code prevents this kind of protest, then I'm reasonably confident that any jury standing judgment over my client's actions will agree that any provision of the Penal Code that limits the right to protest tax policy is unconstitutional. The brother's trial is scheduled to be begin on November 29th, so about two weeks from now at 8.30 in the morning at Yuba County Superior Court. So anybody that lives out in the Yuba County area that, uh, that loves liberty, you probably should go out and support these guys. Yeah, it'd be great. I've talked to them. I know they call into the show uh, every once in a while, and uh, Articulate Guy is really active, and I'm looking forward to them moving to New Hampshire. Me too. Hopefully they won't be delayed by a two-year uh, stint in jail as a result of this. Yeah, need more people like that here. Of course, the California jails and prisons are chock full of peaceful people. Uh, they've been building prisons at a clip that's fairly you know, swift. However, they still can't hold people there. They've had to uh, turn people loose. And if I'm recalling correctly, they were turning violent offenders loose as opposed to turning the uh, the pot smokers loose. Isn't it amazing that like about 1% of the U.S. population is in a cage, which is the highest in the world, and yet they're still building more prisons, including here in New Hampshire. They're building one in Berlin. Well, it's big money. Prison. I mean, it's big money for that bureaucracy. The more prisons they have, the bigger their budget becomes. Yep. And the more uh, you know, the government administrators want to have more bureaucrats underneath them so they can have more you know, uh, re- renown or power and influence. And so they they all have reasons to advocate for more of this. None of them have any incentive to come out and say, yeah, we need to stop this war on drugs. We need to clear out these prisons here. We've got way too many folks in here that – okay, I take it back. Not none of them. There, There's one guy, Rick Van Wickler, the, uh, the Cheshire County Jail superintendent who actually is a member of law enforcement against prohibition and actually does go out and speak out against basically part of what his job is. Yep. Uh, in fact, you actually went to – I believe he was speaking here locally at the the local college. You went to that, right? Yeah, exactly. There was a, a nice big crowd for him. I would say about 100 people uh, in attendance. Mostly the, college kids? Yeah, for a Students for a Sensible Drug Policy meeting. Oh, excellent. And uh, some uh, local um, liberty activists also showed up and asked some good questions. And uh, yeah, no, but Van Wickler doesn't. He he wants uh, cannabis to be taxed and regulated, which is the leap, the law enforcement against prohibition perspective. That's kind right. of what their official line is, and I don't agree with that. But I'd rather have that than have people being put in a jail cell for smoking it. Eight five five four fifty free. That's the toll free number. We'll let you know uh, more as we hear it about what's happening with the Bartholomew brothers' case out in California. More coming up. This is Free Talk Live. <laughs> 